Okay, guys, we're going to finish this reading here. So, it's a lot of different energies in here in granite. I haven't been doing very many love readings, but I'm getting some more cards because I felt the need to have trigger cards, um, tower cards, and all of these options because we have an option to go right or wrong and do things in the right way or the wrong way. And it's our option. If you want to overdo sex, that's your option to overdo sex. If you want to overly hook up with people, one night stands and, you know, do drugs, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if you also want to heal, then you could do that too. It's a lot of people, it's more easier for people to do karmic things to do ugly things to trigger people and be pissed when they get triggered because they're doing ugly stuff as well so you know we just have to feed people out of a long hammer spoon this is things that people don't want to hear but on the right foot you know if you're doing the right thing then you're gonna have nothing but good things come to you and good things come to people who wait they wanted to try to trigger you. They wanted to try to talk about your money matters. They wanted to make it difficult for your money matters. They wanted it to make it difficult for you to get someone that you felt that loved you. You know, it, you was being rejected by all means necessary. This had been going on for a long time. Tarot readers really only here, you know, they're selfish. These people aren't healed. And for that matter, they're not even trying to. They're not even trying to heal. You know, they may act as though they are and all of this and that, but they're not. The fact of the matter is they're not. They're not genuine. They are karmic. They're reading cards. They don't feel like they need to heal. They come here as long as people, they see their stuff going up and just don't know. It's the devil blowing them up all to bring them back down. What goes up must come down. And he'll take you real fast up there using tarot to steal ideas and steal because a lot of these people are spiritually blind. They dip shuffling and, you know, working with these cards and they're blind. But as for people who are doing the work. Now, for them tarot readers that haven't been doing the work and they're not a leader, they're not. But they'll get up on here and because of the subscribers that are subscribing and things are moving. You know, this is not no hating on type stuff because Lord knows I don't have no intentions for nobody. Like I don't look at people as vices and I don't have these vices. I have other little things, you know, that start bothering me like while in the midst of doing my healings or whatever, Someone could be 40, someone could be 49, someone could be 48, someone could be 46, someone could be 45, someone could be 44, someone could be 42, someone could be 43, someone could be 44, again, someone could be 9, someone could have got soul. Their private parts when they were 13. Someone could have been nine. Someone could have been four. Someone could have been eight. Someone could have been 16 when someone approached them due to money matters that they'll give them money for sex. Someone could have been 12. Someone could have been nine, 10. Someone could have been six. Someone could have been nine for sure, seven. And it's tarot readers that's in here. They do practice witchcraft. They're thinking that, and Satan is coming back. It says that you think that this is funny, and it isn't. 
You're jealous because God is the blessing her while Satan shower you with gifts to take out your hide. This is the only thing you're about to get from spreading lies and coming with hella tries. This was people that was get, getting together, gang stalking one individual or a few different people that was in the tarot room that was genuine tarot readers. Somebody could have been 15. Nineteen. Someone could be nineteen years old. Someone could be twenty-nine. Someone could be twenty-six. Someone could be thirty-six. Someone could be thirty-nine. Someone could be thirty-eight, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-five. This has something to do with you. Could be seeing eight, 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 eight. Three times, you could be saying nine, nine, nine. Three times, you could be saying four, four, four. Ten, ten, ten. You could be saying, did I say three, 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 and four, four, four? Yeah. This has something to do with a. Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Cancer, a Gemini, a Taurus. Shh. I'm reading. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? I don't know. They sound it. Megaphobia. Megaphobia. See, look at this. What are you on that for? This is on TikTok. They show this to us. You need to get off of that. That is demonized. Is this real? Ain't no telling what they about to do. These damn demons. See? Yes. These people are sick. Tapping folks' phones and stuff. Five, six, Whoa. 15, 16. Someone could be 30, 35, 31. Thirty-six. Someone could be forty-one. Here. Someone could be older than that, like all in their fifties, sixties, and seventies that is here, even in the government system, from forty anywhere from their thirties, even the twenties, all the way to seventy, eighty years old. That's racist that God wants them to quit. Like it ought to be against the law for people to hate that's like hate crime it's like people hating for nothing like just because you in your heart like what kicks me and what gets me is you got this unknown hate in your heart for a person from their color your mental is off you're basically sick so a lot of people need to be admitted into a mental institute because if you would take them psychologically, if you would take them down the road path of and ask them like legitimately, like if they did go into a men's mental institution, they did institution and they did test on these people. If you would take them in there and you know they put them through whatever system and you know to diagnose them or whatever and try to figure out now. Uh, why do you feel that you hate this certain individual from their color? They couldn't even, they wouldn't even be able to discover the reason for why. They don't even know the reason for why they don't dislike this other race of people or you because you're black. <clears throat> 
if something have to do with your mental and like <clears throat> like some of these people are on drugs that work that have high status quotas that are people that are in high positions and it's going to be adjusted. Something is going to happen. The same person that put you in a third party could now want to come and offer you love due to the work that you do or do they love you double times what they did before. But they constantly got someone that goes to someone in the tarot room or to some witch doctor to do black magic. They try to even do this themselves on you to try to take money from you or your work and thought that it was going to work out for them and that they could do what you do. And this person may have even tried to move to another city or something and do the work that you do like as far as a business and cut you out. This person is overly sexual, overly, if they do drugs, like they may not do it for some days, but when they do it, they're on a roll. <laughs> this person like constantly run in, do a lot of people like this, sleep with people more than one karmic, then run out, go hide out for a little bit, then go get on the internet, stalk you out, go to the tarot room. Could have thought that you was a witch doctor. Come to find out you're pure ass gen genuine and these people are playing magic against you and you're not using anything against them. And now they have started to put magic out on pe someone that was anointed, appointed, and designed to fight battles against demons that they're getting their karma back and they don't even know why. They're like, wow, why is this happening to me? Someone even could have got a tower for breaking and entering in something. They're gonna get a tower for breaking and entering in your phone. Something these people are gonna be get gotten by the feds and like they were trying to walk in your energy and uh, like again I say it's terror readers out here it's people in the government system that's overly sexual they have addictions they either drink they do some sort of drug even snorting up the nose and. They are on something and they can maintain and sustain their position while they're at work, but it doesn't mean that their mental is good or they're in a good place or space. These people need healing. These are things that they have done for years and still been able to maintain and sustain and move about in a way that no one knows. These are controlling people. These are people that will backstab you, lie on you, cheat on you, steal from you, manipulate you, hate you. Even in your family, you were the black sheep. These people did this over and over. You've been stuck in this cycle, could possibly been since you were a child, since you were five years old, six years old, 10 years old, three years old, four years old, seven years old, eight years old, nine years old, something to do with September, October, June, February, May, March, April, Something to do with 24. Someone could be 24. So, someone could be 28, 29. Someone could be 27, 26, 22, 25, 23. 
you're on the right path, and yet and still they're not. These are narcissistic people that stalk you to gain insight, ideas, information, to take your ideas, to take your work, to stop you, to block you, to keep you from moving forward. And it's going to be a justice. These people do drugs, they snort, they smoke weed, they even do smoke meth, ice, crack, rock, pills. And you're still going to get your soulmate and your just do coming forward. Because through it all, you've been the genuine one. These people not being legitimate, sending out hate, hate for people that they think that they got the right to do it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 years old. Like someone got a new car. Someone's just being grimy. They triggered by being grimy. They know that they're grimy. They don't care. They get on here and tell a whole batch of lies. Or they could even be giving you genuine information. Whatever. These people are in karmic connections here. And they're still doing it. And they choose to not heal themselves. This could be three different men that got behind the scenes, stopped you, gang stopped you, was trying to use you for money. These people wanted to use you for money, wanted, may have tried to go towards your child or someone is trying to do this, go towards someone's child or did use a kid for money, for financial purposes, could have been from the government system. This could have been a person that's prejudiced. This could be a person that sleep with black men and don't like black women. This could be a black man that don't like black women that got behind the scene and did this. This could be a person that claimed that they love black people and they're not racist and they are, they're cold hearted. They go to tarot readings, they went and got tarot readings on you. You're on the right path because you're giving out true, genuine work and information. You got pure intentions. Someone is just selfish, all out selfish. Don't care about the next person. Don't care about no one else's well-being. They will backstab you, lie on you, cheat on you, steal from you, whatever way they can go to get over.